My epiphany or breakthrough to provide abortions came about while listening to a sermon uh, by Dr. Martin Luther King. In that sermon, he described what made the Good Samaritan good. And in substance, what made that person good was to ask, what will happen to this person if I don't stop to help? So I became more concerned about what happens to my patients when abortion care is not available than what might happen to me for providing the care, even though I knew that many people who shared my Christian identity wouldn't agree with my decision to do so. There needs to be the deconstruction of what I call the false equivalency of the whole pro-life, pro-choice rhetoric. Uh, that's a misnomer. There is pro-abortion and anti-abortion. People who are anti-abortion are pro-fetus, uh, but that often leads them to be uh, against the lives of women. To be pro-abortion, which I am, is not uh, Abortion should happen uh, because it is a good thing. It's not a good thing or a bad thing. It's a biologic reality. But I am for women having access to the services that they need. So we'll have to reframe the conversation to have an honest disagreement, uh, which means that we'll have to deal with facts. People who uh, uh, oppose abortion say life begins at conception. That's a non-biologic understanding because when we look at how pregnancy occurs. Conception occurs when a sperm meets an egg. You can't have a, a, a live pregnancy if you don't have a live sperm meeting a live egg. And so if the sperm's alive and the egg's alive, that means that life begins before conception. Life is a process and not an event. You can't answer religious questions with scientific answers. You can't answer scientific questions with religious answers. I think Dr. King said it best that science gives mankind knowledge, which is power. Religion gives mankind wisdom, which is control. The two are not enemies.